All right, the map is modern Spain, and these are the bonuses, 3, 10, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 6, 2, 8, 2, and 2. And we are the black player first in turn order, and these two blizzards make it into a four point hold for this plus six. And this blizzard makes it into a one, two, three, four, five, six point hold for this plus eight. We have a lot of troops over here, and four over here. I think we wanna go over here, gotta go first. I, can I get territory this turn? I wanna kinda of slap you out of there, but I don't think I, have the troops to do that. I think we focus on getting this this turn, which we can, which is beautiful for us. We just take this and we fortify this down to here to make sure that nobody breaks us. Magenta most likely takes this next turn, but the next round I get my troops before they do and then I can stack these troops here and try and take it from them because I want this. Ooh, never mind. They went for that one. An interesting play. You know what? That's actually probably smart of them because they have more troops over there to defend it better. And also, if they did, you know, stack their three here and get this and have like two and a three, I'm just taking the next turn. Like, I, y you know where I'm going. I think Magenta knows what they're doing. Strong start for us. Not the most impactful blizzards, although if purple or somebody tries to grab that, that's good. This four over here, I mean, if nobody goes for this for several rounds, I can eventually secure this bonus and this bonus on a one, two, three point hold. Four plus uh, five is pretty good and then use that to uh, put some troops, fund some troops across the board into this, and then work on grabbing this bonus and this bonus and have a one, two, three point hold and plus six, but having a three point hold over here and a three point hold over here, it's a bit greedy considering it's not, there's not much on the board, right? The red player might be uh, giving up and botting out because they don't like their start. If I were the red player, what would I do? As long as three or four players stay in the match, I'm fine, I don't care if it's about it too, it's not a big deal. Bots actually make it more interesting in my opinion. Um. If they, I mean, they don't have much. This actually, no, they, no, they could go down here. I mean, that yellow four is that yellow four is in the way. Otherwise, going down there could be good for them. They could have gone for this over there. Wait, they had a, they, they had this. They had a three point hold and plus three. That's fine. Could stack some here. Slap that. Boom. Hope to hold it your first turn. Yeah, you don't need to bot out. But they did bot out. Purple is going for this over here. Did you hit my? Does, did you just hit some of my troops? I feel like you, you're going for this plus ten. What are you doing, purple? Not sure why purple is attacking like crazy over here. I think I, they are going. They are going for this plus ten, or they want to try and nab this from me. I don't like that per se, because they're like if they want this plus ten, there is four, eight, eleven of the troops in their way. I'm just feeling targeted, frankly. Yellow goes for this because it's their obvious play. I don't trust what purple's doing at all, so that makes me a little hesitant to go down and go for this. I might wait an extra round to go for this because of purple over there. Um, or man, we take risks around here. We take risks around here. Actually, this four, I can move this four and down there, four, five. I mean, maybe we don't, maybe, we, I mean, we could, I put two there, hit this, and four, five's in. Ah, we got too many fortifying to do, worry about that. We stick enough here to grab, I can't see it because the thing's in the way, seven, good. That grabs that guaranteed. I need to defend down here. The remnants fortify over, and this moves into there. I, I need to protect against whatever purple's plan to do. I don't trust them any farther than I can throw them. Let's hit this right there like that. And then we, hmm. I have to trust somebody somewhere. Who's more likely to try and pop me, purple or yellow? I'm gonna go, purple seems to be playing more like a newer player. So I think like, I feel like I'm, I'm vulnerable either way. I'm either uh, yellow can break me here or purple can come in and break me there. I can only fortify once per turn. I choose to protect this with these fours because purple is playing like more of a newer player. And a newer player is much more likely to break a bonus that has one troop on it than a more experienced player. I'm guessing yellow. They took their turn pretty quickly. I feel like yellow knows what they're doing. They saw where to go. They took it. They split nicely defending it. And if they hit this, there's a clear five. That just frees my five to hit it and take the card next turn. Also, I mean, magenta's around there too, right? Is magenta going to come in? Yellow's also got to worry about magenta, right? Maybe they're not inclined to mess around with magenta's there. Maybe. They don't want to start a fight with me when Magenta's right there to clean up. Magenta's fortifying stronger down here because that's where their threat is, right? And they're getting a nice little plus two over there. The red bot is going to play around over there. I don't like how Yell's just chilling down here safely. Magenta's chilling here safely. The bot's playing around over here. And now I've got Purple, the, 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 the probably novice, playing around in my neck of the woods, potentially wanting to go around towards me. Don't love that for me per se. I would rather have seen, are you, wait, did you bot out? No, you're here. Why did you stack down here? You're a novice, you're an absolute, complete and total novice. Okay, that's fine. 
as long as you don't use those novice powers against me. But you do want this plus 10 over here. You're a novice, you see a plus 10, and you're trying to get it. You're not realizing there's a 4 and a 4 and a 3 in your way, right? You can break red and not realizing they're, realizing they're bot? Yeah. Oh, purple. Purple. Do you think there's any world where anybody lets you hold a <laughs> plus 10? I'd <laughs> like an 8 point hold, my man. Yell's protecting against red over there. They're grabbing another bonus. There's a good chance the bot doesn't let them hold that. I think those monsters get a card. I don't trust purple. Yellow did not break me, so we've got a correct read over there. I need to get a card somewhere. Um, this four will hit there for a card, and that five can fortify there. And I'll offer an alliance to you. And then the rest of my troops are going to work on protecting this over here. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to attack over into here, and I'm going to uh, offer an alliance. I think if I know correctly, yellow might understand what that means. And then fortify... Uh, to move this three out, but move the five out first over to here. I could one point here, or I could one point here. Uh, one pointing, doing my one point hold over here for this section, uh, is the advantage of combining that four and that five in a single turn into a seven. Magenta taking their action quickly to break red. Do they not realize that red is a bot, or they just not want the bot to get strong? It's hard to say. But they just, they just waste a, they just spent a lot of troops doing that. It does give them more territories on the board, to give themselves more potential um, troops, and they didn't lose that many doing it. I've got 33, they've got 30, they got great dice and lost so little doing that, but they still only have a 4 and a 10 protecting themselves compared to my 8, 8, and 7, right? And the bot will take away a few of those territories, and I mean, it gives them like, they'll give one extra troop next turn, unless red hits yellow. Alright, so that's fine. Red is getting out of their way. I need to get purple squished down over here to eliminate them when the time comes. I don't like that you're up in my business. You're also up on... You're on Magenta's board as well, so if you're looking to start a fight, there's a thing for you as well there. Yeah, stack that hit there and keep that 9 to go that way. Just be a novice going for a plus 10 that doesn't want to break me. Good, good, okay, they don't want to fight me. I was worried they stack in that 9 and the 9 comes through and tries to break my 8s and they're a, a wild a card, but no, they're just... They're a newer player that just wants to get that plus 10. Magenta moved there, took their turn very quickly. I think Magenta's pretty experienced, although I'm not sure why they opted to break the bot. I feel like letting the bot get strong is good for you, because the bot would most likely damage uh, purple and maybe yellow. Ooh, yellow did not like me stacking on their border, even though I gave them the option for the truce. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know, yellow, uh, we gave them a little too much credit. Eight troops for us. I will card trade on three here because yellow has shown they are antagonistic and I need the extra troops to hit you with a uh, good dice. Please don't fail. Great dice. We push you out of here. Get you out of there. And then we uh, fortify this back over here. Didn't have to be like that, yellow. You did, you're, you're now in last place because you thought it'd be a smart idea to, to hit me there. I gave you more credit. A more experienced player there would understand that I was just trying to combine my two stacks over there. But they, they took it as like a, a, an affront on their person. Ooh, do you win that 75? You do, but it would not have to break me. Okay, things are getting interesting. It's looking really nice for Magenta because uh, Yellow decided they wanted to kind of half self-destruct me and force me to retaliate. Luckily, I've got a pretty strong hold over here. The bot exists, and the bot, if we're lucky, you know, Yellow, I mean, Yellow could card trade and come this way and deal with me because they're probably going to hold a grudge and attack me. So Yellow, I think, is either a beginner or a novice based on how they just played, but they just happen to take their actions quickly. Come on, bot, hit that 2v1. Hit that 2v1. At least at least the bot broke Magenta over there. I'll break Magenta here and here. I have to cross my fingers and hope that Yellow just leaves me alone for a while or that Purple creates a barrier for me against Yellow. Purple, who I thought would be an enemy, might end up being my savior. Hit this, hit this. Um, you're not going to create much of a... I mean, this 3 and this 4 protect me a little bit. I want... You're going to work on getting your bonus. I don't love the idea of you getting a plus 10. I mean, if yellow... I mean, if you're getting... Oh, you don't go for it this turn. Interesting. Oh, if I was you, I will just take that hit and hope to get it. Plus 5, because you have your bonus, you card trade in 3 and come through. If I'm lucky, you bought out. If I'm unlucky, you, you've been sitting here waiting to revenge grudge slam me. Let's see if you're... Ooh, five over there. Okay, you're still gonna play to win. You're not gonna sit back and revenge grudge slam me. I, I can respect it. You're coming down this way. I'm not sure what, why? Why? Why breaking magenta? I guess you're not holding a grudge against me? I don't understand. I don't get it. 
Oh, you're trying to position yourself closer to come get revenge this way through them? I don't know. Um, do I let Magenta hold an extra plus eight? Not a chance. Not, a, not an absolute chance in the world. I hit this like so. I mean, they took my bonus away from me last turn, right? They were not friendly to me, right? We hit that. And I'm actually going to fortify... Do I fortify it back? No, we fortify this forward to it. You don't have a card trait, so you can't hit me. You do get plus six because you have this and 13 territories. Gives you one more. Um, if you had 11, you'd only get... We've gotten five that turn. You've got 31 troops. I've got 31 troops. Myself and Magenta are equal in uh, troops. I have better troop income. Are you really going to try this again? No, you're attacking over that way. All right, interesting. So you want to try and re-grab re 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 this? I don't know what's going on here. This is, a, this is a very strange match, but it's interesting. And I actually prefer weird, chaotic, interesting matches for videos. Okay, you want... Yellow broke you last turn, so you pushed them out of there. You're and Because you, you, you didn't want to go for my eight there, basically, so you went for them. Um, You started a fight with me, not expecting Yellow to retaliate against you. Yellow is just chaos incarnate. Yellow slams me over here. They take their actions quickly. I think they did. The bot trades in on three is great. Bot is doing great work for us. Slam them, slam them. Purple is going slow. It's looking okay for us. We're yellow hit me there, and, f and I have to spend troops to deal with yellow. Cost me a, like the nice comfy lead we had. Hold up. Are you about to feed me the yellow kill? If yellow does not card trade on four, and this four stays live, um, I could stack my eight here. Becomes twelve. Hits this. Hits this. Hits this. This, 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 with great dice, we take out yellow? Question mark? I don't know. Well, I mean, now there's... Now there's 2, 4, 7, 10, 13, 14 troops to go through. Probably not. Unless purple slams yellow out of here. Um, purple is just... The only thing they see is this plus 10. They're taking forever to do it. They're saying well played. I don't think purple's actually fixing to take you out for cards. Yellow's thinking that... Oh, maybe they are. Okay. Are they going to take out yellow for cards? That's... I'm fine with that. That's fine. Or are they just going for the bonus and they just... Do, are they feed me? Are they going to feed me? I need yellow to not have a card trading for it. Oh, no, they are going for the kill. They are going for the kill. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind purple getting that. Um, that's fine. That's, that's, that's a better situation than yellow revenge slamming me. Because purple has shown no real aggression towards me. I've done nothing offensive towards them other than defend my borders. There's a good chance they stack that 12 over here somewhere and break me, which would not be great for me per se. But if I've read them correctly, they're more concerned with getting big bonus and getting next bonus than they are with starting a fight with me. But they do know to go for kills. They're not a complete novice. They do know to go for kills. And they have more... Tri they got 46 troops in the board because, well, they've avoided fights. So maybe there's something to be said for what they do, for what they're doing. Right? Um, The bot has one car. It's not worth going for the kill on that. I should work with Magenta against Purple right now. This is this is getting out of hand, Purple. Like, that just... that That's... Uh, three, six, eight. That's plus eighteen troops, and you already have the most troops on the board. We we can't we can't have that. Um, eight troops for us. Oh, I could break. Oh, you're stacking up my borders too. I need to do some damage to you. This could go through. I stack here. Boom, 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 boom. Break everything you have. Yeah, it all goes here. It all goes. We don't mess with magenta. I signal to magenta that we're gonna work together against purple. Purple's gonna hate me for this, but they... Uh, I mean, this this is just too much, man. You can't have this much. This is too much strength for you to have, good sir. Then we fortify back over to here. They probably card trade on three and break me. I imagine both my bonuses get broken next turn, but we had we need we need to even the board a little bit. And I need to um alliance. Hopefully Magenta understands that this alliance is with me talking to them. I don't know if they do, but hopefully they do. They took their action. They move quickly enough that I feel like they played the game a few times before. They've got to see me breaking purple. The thing is, if like, if I didn't break purple there, there's a very strong chance that uh, Magenta does not break purple there. Okay, they're not stacking. They're, okay, Magenta understands. We're working together against purple. Well, no. Magenta is sitting back and letting myself and purple fight each other while they sit back and protect their bonuses. Okay, that's not... I mean, at least they're not at least they're not attacking me directly, but they are positioning to attack me, so that's not great for me per se. They want this. Uh, the bots can hit that four out of there, that's not great for me. But I mean the bot getting stronger helps a little bit. 
Here's the problem. I've angered Purple because I had somebody had to. You know what? Win or lose, I'm making a video out of this. That's what we're going to do. And that's that might just be my meta going forward for risk content for matches that were like where interesting things are happening. Um, because I'm trying to like branch the channel out into more just strategy in general as opposed to like being I'm the guy who wins at this one video game over and over again. Um, and that's gonna require spending not you know three hours grinding to get one video, right? So, purple, interesting. You're not taking vengeance. You're going for the red kill for two cards for another immediate card trade-in. Good play. Losing two there is good. I need you to fail this kill and give it to me. Um, I think you failed the kill. Okay, purple's better than I gave him credit for, I think. You don't win a 2v2. You don't win a 2v2. You don't slow roll and win that. You don't slow roll and win that. No. <laughs> Wait, you got another two over there. Wait, no, you don't slow roll and win that. You don't, you, don't, you don't slow roll and win that. You don't slow roll and win that. No. Oh, thank goodness. All right. And then I get the red kill. And um, then I try to deal with purple, or do I sit back and turtle up? Because I feel like the two of you are going to gang up on me right now. Um, I don't have immediate card trade as a problem. You're trying to block me from getting it. Good play there, sir. But I can go around the, the long way and still get it. All right. We tried, but we just go ahead and get this over here the long way. Uh, not necessarily. Ooh, good dice. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Purple's strategy has almost been kind of working out for him. And we do that. And we have a card trade of... We got to use a wild card, but make sure we get that guy in there. I can't take anybody else out this turn, I don't think. I can really weaken up purple. Purple might have a card trade. I don't really want to have them turn... I want to see how much... That's a 20... They could have... They probably have a, a 20 stat coming at me. Let's... Not be antagonistic towards them. I'm, I've already made an enemy out of them, remember this. I've already made an enemy out of them, remember this. So, they already hate me, so they're already gonna get vengeance on me, right? Unless they're very level-headed, so let's go ahead and weaken up the stuff on my border there a little bit. And then fortify this over into here. At this point in the game, should I just like, have one big stack and go for kills? I, I, if, if, oh no, the magenta. Oh, magenta, you have decided yeah, this is... I should have read... I knew they were going to do it too, I shouldn't have, uh... I, sh I guess I shouldn't have fought... I need purple to not have a card trade in four. Yeah, I, I knew Magenta wanted this, I should have fortified that back, or, or just not attack purple. Unfortunately, Magenta's doing a smart play of, like, I'm fighting purple, because somebody had to, and... Um... And they're sitting back letting me, and then also pummeling me while I do it, so... I... Purple was a threat on the board. If I'm lucky, they're botting out here, and I can use that to my advantage. Um, I'm mean, having that 14 there, did protect that, so that's good. And it is kind of buried, though. I, I need purple to bot out here. If you bot out and I get six troops next turn, but they're all, it's, they're, I can't use them, they're all trapped. I need, but if you, you botting out is better than you attacking me a bunch, right? And self-destructing at me. Because now I can 1v1 magenta with a bot on the board. I do have more troops than magenta. They have a card trade before me. I gotta use the, the, the purple bot to my advantage. The problem is I've got... I mean, your 12 is trapped, my 14 is trapped, my 8 is trapped, your 4 is primed at them, your 5 is pointing this way. I need to stack here, come here, hit this, and then stack there again, I think. Uh, card trade of 20 at the end of your turn. I think purple did bot out, which is best case scenario for me. Luckily, you're not sitting around holding a grudge. That's good. I need a card trade here and do insane damage to magenta. That's what I need to do. I need to devastate your entire existence. Can I take you out this turn? What troops do you have? Uh, 32? Maybe there's a world where I take you out this turn, actually. Maybe? Or at least mess you up a lot? I don't know if I can, but... I don't need you to card trade on four and mess me up. That'd be a problem for me by quite a lot. Maybe we can take you out this turn. Maybe we can. This crazy chaotic match here. Can I take you out? Good dice, great dice, great dice. <gasps> that was pretty good dice. Oh my goodness. We take him out this turn. <laughs> Against the odds, Machin and Purple were almost effectively teaming up. I mean, no, no immediate card trade, but um, we're in a good situation because the bot stacked that over there. Let's just go ahead and hit as much as I can here. Fortify this over to here, sure. The bot has no card trade and it's looking good for your boy. What a crazy match. We took some crazy aggressive risk making an enemy out of purple. Got super lucky that they didn't sit back and like grudge match card trade on four and slam me. If they had, I'd be done. 
that's the only reason I, the only reason I win this is because purple didn't sit here holding a grudge. If they did, I get third, purple gets second, magenta gets first is what would have happened. Luckily for me, we broke their spirit and they gave up. And now we get a card trade on five. I can, we got a clean path through all of your stuff, I think, over there. That's great. Love that. And that's a big stack of troops. Against all odds, we want to match that. Frankly, probably shouldn't have. <laughs> we probably shouldn't have, but that's what I do for contents. Wait, this three doesn't necessarily beat this this turn. Can I slow roll this and get you out of here? And see that there? Come on. Uh, do it again? Can I, can I get this? Oh, no. All right, fine. Well, I'll get you next turn. You, you tell your friends I'm coming for you. Let's go ahead and clean this out of here. I forgot to scan the entire board, but bot's got two cards. We're not going to do much, right? And fortify this over to here. Bot does their actions right. But that's how I like to play risk. I like to take stupid, crazy risks that eh, a lot of times don't pay off. But when they do, fun stuff happens. Just makes for more entertaining content. And luckily this time it worked out. You play this match again ten times. Quite a few of those times this easily, this easily turns into a... Uh, a uh, third place M most of those times but this was the sweet awesome little win for us go ahead and take them out there and we did it even though probably shouldn't have got crazy lucky and there it is you'll love to see it and i have plenty more videos you can watch too see you next time unless you want to see the ranks novice novice beginner expert whoa -ho! i knew you were i thought you were good at first but then you attacked me so crazy like that was we a weird play maybe just like a risk you had to take i don't know but there it is love to see it see you next time